Hundred percent hit. We've done this show for what seven years now? Almost. Seven years. Never have we ever hit below 100 percent accuracy <laughs> in retelling somebody's family life. It's amazing. Um, all right. So for the second half, all we need is a suggestion. Uh, of anything at all. A suggestion of anything at all. Just Carl yell Marx. things out. Why? Over here? Karl Marx. Karl Marx. Woo! I'm sorry. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> what? You're fired. I need this job. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The job's gone. The job's gone. The pension's gone. No! The company-owned house that you live in is gone. The credits at the company store are revoked. Brad! But what am I gonna do? You can't go anywhere else? You're gonna go die in the street for all I care. <laughs> no! I've given so much time to this company, 25 years of my life! 25 years that you freely gave. <laughs> No, I thought that we had a relationship, you know? You know, like I gave a lot of good work, right? You know, and, and that you would take care of me, you know? Like, you, were heard, you were heard complaining about management on the assembly line. I know, because someone took my lunch and I thought it was one of the managers. Do I order a sandwich over here? Just order a sandwich? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, like a full long ham Swiss. What type of bread? <laughs> Jeez, what's that honey glazed whole wheat? I get that. Honey glazed whole wheat. Yeah. All right, I'll take that. Yeah. It's okay. It's it's. There's a lot it's of sugar in it. There's a lot of sugar in it. I'm gonna say it now. Twenty five years I haven't said it. It's too sugary for a real wheat bread. Yeah, <laughs> who hears it? All right, I'll, take, I'll, I'll go with the hearty Italian then. <laughs> Very well. Do you want a toaster? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You must be new, huh? Sandwiches? What? <laughs> <laughs> new to the company, huh? Oh, I just walked in off the street to purchase a sandwich. <laughs> I don't know. Are you guys hiring? Huh? Are you, are you hiring? Yes, we are. We have no for a sandwich artist. I don't know if I'm an artist, but you know, I, I know a good sandwich when I'm getting a good sandwich. Wait, is that the street? Yeah. I, I work. He seems loyal and trustworthy. Whereas you betrayed us. Twenty-five years I worked for the same fucking Subway franchise. Twenty-five years, and I complained back there. You call me pickles, lettuce, tomato, uh, yeah, olives, <laughs> everything but the olives. Yeah. <laughs> I still haven't put the meat on. What meat did you want? <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be back for you. What's your name? Where do you live? Where do you live? What's your name? I was. I'm not even sure if I was going to answer the first question. <laughs> I'll find out! <laughs> what type of sandwich do you want? Oh, uh, <laughs> you know what? I don't want the job, alright? I do want the sandwich. Ham and Swiss. Ham and Swiss? Yep. What kind of dressing? Oil and vinegar? Question? Uh, I'll take a little oil and vinegar, yeah. Deep with a little mayo, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Did you say toasted or not toasted? I said toasted. Toasted? Yeah. All right. You got an intimidating operation here. <laughs> 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 Don't be surprised by me. Or my uniform. You got a lot of stripes. Yes, I do. Well, tell me, citizen. <laughs> Here in this typical American town that we are in, called uh, Anywhereville, <laughs> where you have never left the boundaries, raised since a young boy, <laughs> only to live in this one town, Anywhere Town. Yeah, anywhere. Yes. You've never left. I, no. Trained to be a proper American. I mean, what? to live as a proper American. I mean, you are an American. Yes? Sure, yeah. I mean, I'm sure this is just like, you know, every once in a while I talk it to a uniformed Russian man like yourself. <laughs> yes, the tales are true, right? Many times throughout the tale of the history of anywhere town since its founding. Sorry to interrupt you. You said everything but... <laughs> <laughs> everything... Well, I'm sorry. You gave me 
me a list of options before. I said everything but the olives to that list. Not everything here but the olives. <laughs> so no peppers. No, you didn't mention peppers in the original <laughs> list you ran off the of <laughs> list. Yeah, that was in the tomato, original list. Yeah. Onion. Yeah. And that's it. Pickles. Sweet pickles. Yeah. Sour pickles. <laughs> Spicy pickles. <laughs> Just sweet pickles. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I don't even care. Just put whatever you want. <laughs> whatever I want. <laughs> Customer wants what I want. Uh, you know what? Uh, I can uh, order the same sandwich every day. Uh, I should try something different. Make me whatever you like. Uh, no, what you indeed. Uh, try something different, yeah. right? You have choice yeah. here. Choice in colorful America. Yeah. Since 1951, when your town was founded in anywhere <laughs> USA, sure. you have been raised to be good Americans, to serve the company, to work for the company, to go take guitar lessons from this gentleman for to paint your white picket fences, yes? Ah. That is the natural order of things. It is, yes. <laughs> but yet, have any of you ever left anywhere town? Have any of you ever left the boundaries of here? There's no need to leave. I buy the right to have my franchise Subway from the people who own the Subway brand. I hire my employees to make the sandwiches according to the Subway brand standard. <laughs> yes. Very good. That is the way the world works. There's no need to go anywhere else when you can own a simple sandwich shop. You're Make Joseph money. Adams, yes? Yes. Joseph Adams. I'm Joseph Adams. Of one, two, three Willow Lane, yes? <laughs> Your mother and father were Josie and Bill Adams. Yes? Josie and Bill. Indeed. The you Adams. Well. The Adams family. <laughs> I've seen this television show on the tube, yeah? Yes. Good, good. Bears no resemblance to my family. <laughs> Rory Pucker. <laughs> 51 Maple Street, huh? Yes. Mother and father, Larry and Marlena Yannetti. <laughs> of Italian stock, huh? So you know everyone's parents and where they live. What of it? <laughs> the experiment is over, gentlemen. What do you mean? <laughs> you have been living in a village constructed in the Soviet Union uh, in uh, 1951. Bullshit. Yes? Bullshit what? Fuck you. Fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, shut up. You shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Fucking pay for this shit. <laughs> you said. The town that I grew up in is a Soviet experiment in American living. It's true. It's Ken? a Soviet experiment. Yes. This is Ken, your faithful employee. Yes. His name is Yergi Shmirnov. <laughs> well, are you related to Yakov? I am related to Yakov Shmirnov. That's the only so. comedian. <laughs> so this is one. Big Yakov Smirnov show. <laughs> no, 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 that's not a fucking Yakov Smirnov show. You play in America, in any town, America. Anywhere. In America. You don't know the name of your own fucking town. <laughs> anywhere, Bill. And then in anywhere, Bill, America, things work differently than in the Soviet Union. And this experiment allows you to compare the two. Yeah, that's a Yakov Smirnov show. <laughs> <laughs> Smirnoff's comedy is comparisons between American culture and Russian culture. Wait a minute! Your brother told me uh -huh. that we were doing this to be yeah. super spies for a new This is a fucking job! This is a fucking job! Super spies? Super spies? We're super spies? Yes, 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 yes. I'm 50 years old. How am I going to be a super spy? You're ready to be activated at any moment. I can't even get out of bed half the time.
and we will figure this out. Yeah. I want to talk to you right here. Yeah. 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 I am yeah. embarrassed. No. I am embarrassed. Yeah. This is an experiment. I was insane. So, you, you want olives, you don't want olives. <laughs> That's the thing I've been most clear about. <laughs> You want me to have olives? I don't like that, but I accept it. Put olives on the side. Sorry, I'm late for my shift. <laughs> Anything go down today? <laughs> <laughs> so, a little mayo. What else? Well, that was with the original sandwich. Give me whatever you think best uh, supports that sandwich. <laughs> hey, I don't know if you guys saw, but on the way over, I noticed that the sky was slowly being dismantled. <laughs> <laughs> in, in the sky. The sky was being dismantled. And there, there, there's a bunch of scaffolding up there. And what was beyond the sky? Just a lot of scaffolding. <laughs> oh my goodness, did you ever see? Well, I on top of the sky, and there's no scaffolding, and the whole turtle pond has been drained. The drain and half of my house, it turns out there's a missile silo under the floor. <laughs> well, I never. Do you want a sandwich? <laughs> That's what we do here. We make sandwiches. We don't listen to your explanations. We don't want the sky to be taken apart. Don't get upset with All right. that matter of <laughs> And I can't make a decision. I just put every kind of dressing on your sandwich, all right? <laughs> so just eat the sandwich. You know, next time, come in with a, a clear choice, okay? This bread is falling apart. I can't eat this. Scrap the sandwich. Let's start back at the bread, all right? Well, we're still hammering the Rotary Club dinner tonight. Uh -huh. We need two footlongs. Uh, two foot I mean, six footers. I'm sorry. Two six footers. We're going to need two six foot party subs. We don't know, of course, if the function hall is going to be there because there's Soviet tanks rolling through the whole of Soviet the Soviet tanks! <laughs> I can't believe it. You know, I haven't seen a Soviet tank since. I went on a trip to Soviet Union in 1951. <laughs> I fell asleep in my hotel and I woke up back home. I went on that same trip. <laughs> I went on a trip to the Soviet Union in yeah. 1951 and my mommy and daddy yeah. left me in a hotel room. I got really sleepy and I woke up in Annie Wareville with a new mommy and daddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. Two six foot party Two show? Six foot. I want one as a cold cut tree. A cold cut tree. I'm going to want. Well, you put the meats on there. Do you want me to tell the veggies now or do you want me to wait till the same way? Just wait. get it started. I would get it started. <laughs> now, you watch your lip, little Danny Smithers. <laughs> uh, you've been stomping around in yeah, my, in my lettuce patch. And I never know you can steal my cat's butt lettuce. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but I just. You oh, slapped me three times. <laughs> Thanks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are you going, <laughs> You gonna go on your break? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go on my break too. Come on, somebody destroy the two six footers. Don't take a break now. I got it. <laughs> I got it. I know I, I, I know I'm not the best, but I'm pretty good. <laughs> All right, I trust you to make two big sandwiches. You know, I don't even know why we're bothering anymore. It just oh, seems what? like this town is just falling apart. They're shooting people out on the street. <laughs> <laughs> shooting people. It's the damnedest thing ever. It's a man in uniforms just shooting people. And I don't feel a thing. It's as if some trigger went off in my head and I feel nothing but the urge to kill. That's <laughs> funny because I woke up this morning and speaking of triggers and I looked at my dog and I just strangled him to death. Cut <laughs> both. Cut both rolls big and, and both put the same How are we supposed to eat just time. one big sandwich? You gotta slice it. Is it slice it you gotta cut the stuff on No, this. we're not gonna slice it up first and then Put the mayonnaise on both sides. Now, you know, it's funny. I quietly took my four grandchildren, brought them up to the upstairs bathroom, yeah. threw a bath, and I drowned each one while looking <laughs> in their eyes. And I'll tell you, I did not feel a thing. And the last one, I have in the baby seat in the car. <laughs> well, they're replacing all the oxygen with nerve gas. <laughs> Let me get two big cookies. <laughs> two big cookies. I want 
Oh, that one? And that one. Oh, sure. This one? Oh, that one? Yeah. This one. And. And. Well, could you let me finish? No. Finish my no. That one. This one? Asshole. That one. <laughs> yeah. You got it. Good for you. Congratulations. Did you finish my sandwich before you start taking out the orders? Well, I'll tell you the one real quick. Your sandwich will probably take about 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, so what is policy? We tell people that if they are ordering a dessert item, they can interrupt the previous order to get the dessert. <laughs> That's how my policy it comes down from the policy head for 359. Look, I really need my sandwich. I have to finish feeding my mother's body to the dog. <laughs> I killed her before I came here. I don't know why I did that. I had an impulse to kill my mother. All right, who has I... murdered another human being today? <laughs> what was the question? Who here has murdered another human being today? <laughs> I mean, I don't even know why I came here. I'm vegetarian. I don't like half the stuff you serve, but I had the biggest urge just to come in and tell you that they're shooting people out there. We have some fine vegetarian options we've got to <laughs> This is a whole bunch of starch and like all the tables. Well, don't need you. Hey, I'm sorry, all right? I won't. Like I said, I came here to tell you they're shooting people and that I killed my wife. Who's shooting people? Men in uniforms, I don't know. Jesus fucking Christ. There's <laughs> <laughs> an inspector coming in here today. Attention, attention, citizens of anywhere view. This is Commandant Shmirnov. Commandant Yakov Shmirnov. What is the difference between waiting in line at the stocking shop and waiting in line for bread in Soviet Russia? Huh? Uh, there's that, that magazine. I cannot hear magazine. anyone answering because this is not the truth. <laughs> so if anyone wants answering, I just want to be able to say that I cannot hear you. Yeah, it's magazine or something. TV Guide. You can read the magazine no. in the United States. What the country? Free library! Uh, rhyme is close, rhyme is close. I just shot my dog in the head. Because that's what everyone's doing now. Is that anywhere feel Making the big sandwiches. Sorry. You alternate, you alternate the shape of the wedge. You alternate the cheese. <laughs> Flip it so that they're facing a different okay, direction. Right. That's how we used to do it. We used to do it all facing the same direction. Yeah. But now we do it. We often. You remember when we used to slice the tops off, and then that was a terrible way to make sandwiches. Yeah. Yeah. We became real popular while we were doing that. Yeah. Those That's the weird. days, huh? Okay. Yeah. I finished dragging my dog out to the dumpster. This is final announcement. This is huge Russian experiment. You all have not been living in the United States. You are all in order to go out to the streets to be shot. Please bring your dogs out to be shot. <laughs> Remember, this is not a joke, even though I am funny man, you're from <laughs> <laughs> Shmirnov. Good break, good break. Yeah, are you guys gonna do that? I don't wanna go get shot. That's the little thing I want least. I, I would rather get shot than tortured, but Shot is towards the bottom of the list. You guys should all be wearing gloves back there. <laughs> That's 150 or grade already. You're not getting higher than a B. Oh, how the boy! Nobody's wearing gloves. Uh, I, I mean, I know it's a hectic day with Yakov Smirnov's voice being yes. broadcast. And as it turns out, apparently our entire life was a big Soviet experiment. I understand. And yes, we all went to Russia for some reason in 1951, and we all woke up here as children. I assume with you've all murdered people well, today as well. Not you know, me. I've been here since six in the morning. We do breakfast now. Uh, <laughs> we just came back from our break, so we are about to put our gloves on. We don't wear the gloves yeah. on break. They're yeah, just coming just back, from, back break. from a break. <laughs> I don't put on the gloves because it makes my fingers less nimble. Okay. <laughs> That's not an excuse. <laughs> but if you do, you want to grease my palm a little, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you want to still pay attention to this. <laughs> what are you? 
do I want? I want you to grease my palm a little. <laughs> you have oil and vinegar here? <laughs> I want you to put that on my hand. <laughs> Rub it around. <laughs> you literally want your palm greasy? <laughs> what? Yeah. What do you think the expression comes from? <laughs> oh, I can't stand you. <laughs> I can't stand you, Mr. Health you Inspector. I can't stand you. Oh, can't stand you don't like now's not the time. Not now. Now's not the time to tell the health inspector how you feel about him. You're right. Get in there, oil. No, I'm not. I got a barrel. I got it. 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 I my entire life is one humiliation after another. Just today, I had to fire a guy who's worked here for 25 years because he was bitching about me openly to customers and fellow employees. Then, it turns out my entire life is a manufactured illusion by the USSR. And you come in here, you tell my employees what they're doing wrong when they're just coming back from break, and now you need me to pour oil on your car. How the fuck's a man supposed to run a business in this goddamn country? What? A country indeed. <laughs> I have just heard from Commandant Shmidov, as I'm sure many of you have. <laughs> you have a Half Inspector! There's no need to keep doing this. Plus, you're always a defective one. Half Inspection is not being having your actual palm get greased. You're supposed to take bribes from the restaurants. Not to actually Why are you telling get him this? If he's got to go outside and get shot. It Why are we doing any of this if we're all just going to get shot? Why it? are we supposed to come outside and get shot if there's fucking nerve gas? <laughs> The experiment is now concluded. Yes. You have proven to be stronger than we thought. Yes. What? Yes. It is called the double swizzle stick. Yes. The double swizzle stick. Double swizzle stick. You're not from the USSR at all. No. You're from Subway Corporate. Yes. <laughs> Soviet-built American Jared's right there. What? Hey, Jared! Hey! hey. Jared. hey. 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 He's Jared. Oh, oh, my name is also Jared, but I believe you're thinking of the famous Subway Jared. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's... Anyway, without confusing things out more. Yeah. You, you live in a Soviet-constructed American town, but you have one of the top Subway branches in all of the extended yeah. United States. It's number three. Number three. So we wanted to congratulate you and give you this certificate uh -huh. of authenticity. <laughs> You're the most authentic owner of a subway we have ever met. You can frame that yourself. I that photo. What are we pocket. supposed to do now? Huh? huh? All the customers have been shot in the head. No. Well, well, well here, here's the thing. All those people were raised in vats. So they don't really count as humans. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it's a clone village. Yeah. Clone one of the reasons, it's one of the reasons yeah, that wow. you guys had such successful Am childhood. Am I a clone? Well, in a way, aren't we all are good we clones? All clones really? uh, the I don't know. Self. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> I don't know what the explanation for any of this is. 
Yeah. In what? Am I a fucking sandwich jockey in every reality? Yeah. In what reality am I not the guy who puts fucking lettuce on a sandwich? God, this guy. What is my piece of the action? Because you are the central core pivot to every universe yeah. in all of creation. Everything else that happens happens an infinite time over, all except right. for you, which is exactly like this in every single reality. You the same reality every time, yeah. making you a modern day Krishna. Yeah. What about me? I'm a guy who puts dressing on that didn't finish high school. Well, in another reality, you're this cowboy, uh, like a modern day techno yeah. cowboy, steampunk sort of thing. And then in another reality, you're just like a pile of oil under a car. Yeah, but in another reality, he would get a sandwich from that guy. That's, yeah, right. that's right. Even the pile of oil. <laughs> but you did a great job managing this situation. Thank you. <laughs> we negotiated a deal. With the Soviet Union to airlift you guys out of here. Yeah, you can go back. We can go to a real American town. Yeah. And I'll have a subway waiting there for me <laughs> where I can run myself. A brand new subway. State of the art with a Mr. Pib dispenser. Yeah. None of that. <laughs> None of that old wallpaper of subways. Remember those wallpapers? Yeah, you're, you're not going to have one of those. Yeah, I don't think my health report really matters anymore. No. Flying you out too. Oh, yeah. You're going to continue to do health reports for this subway. <laughs> All right. You guys have formed a great relationship. Anyway, and sorry for the ruse. Yeah. Isn't that the most important thing? That y'all became friends. Yeah, <laughs> wrong <laughs> thing! <laughs> you do work for me. Yeah. You're some asshole. That's I'm your boss. I ain't some asshole. <laughs> and I'm Jared. <laughs> That was an enormously deceptive piece. Who knows if we're all in some simulation right now? But thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. Come back next week. Show's always different. Thank you.